Welcome back. You see it. We have a fresh batch of snow, so we might as well get outside and enjoy winter while it lasts. The Twin Cities is filled with great places to dig out the sled or the skates, bundle up the family, and, you know, let the kids burn off some energy. That is important. Mm -hmm. Rachel Nevergal, Nevergal from Twin Cities Mom Collective is here with us this morning to share her list of some family-friendly options. We're glad you're here. Thank you. And what you a made day here. to talk about this, right? <laughs> yes. It is. We sent the kids in the backyard yesterday, so the only thing is it's yeah. a little bit, it's not super cold, so at least we can enjoy the snow. The, let's, let's jump into it. You are starting off with ice skating. Yes. Okay. Land of 10,000 lakes, right? So sure. we're going to start ice skating on the lakes, and I think everybody has their favorite, so I'll start with mine. Okay. Um, Lake Nokomis. Um, Lake Nokomis is a huge space for, for going with your family, for enjoying skating, but also what they're known for is hockey. So I know we've got a lot of favorite hockey get fans out there. And it, one thing to remember is that the U.S. Pond Hockey Championship happens sure, there. Right. So that's the end of the month. By then, they have more than 28 rinks that you can skate on. Um, it's amazing. It's definitely worth seeing. And, and one thing to note about the lakes is you want to check the websites before you go, just to make sure. They're frozen right now, but you want right. to make sure before you go. Yeah. So if you went like today, would it be one like rink size out so there? So currently, yeah, they usually okay. have us a rink for hockey and then like a surrounding rink for just circling sure. around or, or trying out your skates. Bring your own skates for that one. Yep. But mm -hmm. a lot of other places too have, have rentals. Um, and warming houses. And warming houses, snack huts, that kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, uh, so there's another place, and uh, this is an ice skating place in, in Ma Maple Grove. And what do you love about Central Park? Because we, we see shots of, of this place a lot uh, on our jam cams and otherwise. Um, and it just, it does look quite magical. Yes. It's popular. That's, that's the word for it. Central Park is a unique ice skating experience because it's a, it's a loop, 810 feet around 20 feet wide. So this is not for your hockey fans. This is not for my kid who wants to run out <laughs> and slap shot. But this is for circling around through the lights. They have, a, they have a fire pit. So you go out at night, you warm up, you get a snack. There's a you can rent ski, skates there, so it's a perfect opportunity just to try out something new and different for skating. For sure, yeah. The loop shape alone makes it feel unique yeah. It for feels the like kids, you're traveling so. around, yep. Yep. right? Fun. Okay, next up, a spot that has a kind of a good mix of fun for kids and adults. Yeah, I'm excited about this one. So the cider works, a uh, social cider. Sociable Cider Works has um, curling leagues that they do, but on Friday nights, they open it up for skating. Um, this, this might be one you can bring the kids, let them skate around while you have a snack, but then uh, this might be a great place. I'm gonna call the babysitter for this one. They have a DJ, <laughs> yeah. they have lights. <gasps> really? Last year they had theme nights, so Taylor Swift is calling my name <laughs> for that one. Yes. Um, I, I think it just sounds like, what a great opportunity to be skating around and have a little snack. At a yeah. I think it would feel a little bit like a, the roller mm -hmm. rink back yeah. in the days. You had totally. the good tunes and you're yes. just doing your spins. Yeah. There you go. Okay, Okay. another uh, favorite winter pastime is sledding. So you have a list of uh, on your website that shows sledding spots all across the metro area. So let's talk about some of your favorite spots. Yes, so yeah, there's gonna be a sledding hill for everybody in every location. We have that on, on our website. You can find the different locations. Um, I like to start at golf courses. So golf courses are great because they have different hills for different thrills. Um, if you've got little ones who wanna do the short ones, it's great. Uh, Columbia Golf Course mm. has boasts having the thrillest of all of us. They have the oh. highest hill, the longest. That's not for me. So, but <laughs> I'll be in. I'll be in the warming hut for that one. Yep. But um, that's a great place to go. They also rent out uh, tubes in mm. their clubhouse. So that's a really fun place to go on the north side of Minneapolis. Check that out. Scream. But the bad news is you got to climb back up that hill. Oh, so. that's good. Yeah. yeah. So yeah that'll wear those right. kids out yeah. for, for days. I also count that as my exercise <laughs> yeah. when we go sledding. Yep. I'm like, this is it. I'm good yep. for the day. That's I got right. it all in. Um, another one that I think you mentioned was Theo Worth, too. Theater Worth Park. I was just there on Monday, and it was, I was there for skiing, but it was packed with families. I mean, um, and there's a great Sunset Hill is known as one of their best hills, but they also have tubing you can rent, um, rent tubes, pay by the hour. Uh, that, and then there's other hills all over, so there's plenty of room. But um, one thing to note about that one and a, and a few other ones are these, they're a nature center. So you can mm -hmm. go, you can experience sledding, but if you want to try out something else, they have snowshoeing, they have 
skiing, right. they have hiking. Um, so there's a lot of really opportunities there for that one. Do they have a warming house? Oh, for sure, they have a okay, chalet. <laughs> they have a beautiful chalet, yeah. so you can feel oh. like you just went to Colorado. Okay. Because then you can make it a whole day. You know, you can a flood a little while, warm it. up, then hike yeah. around. And now this place is uh, outside of the metro area in Victoria, the Lowry Nature Center. Yes, Lowry Nature Center is another great nature center. So you go to their, um, their, their nature center house, and they have a big hill there. Um, it, you can rent. You can rent sleds. You can you can rent snow, snowshoes there. They have guided tours. So there's just a lot more that go on. Like the nature centers are a playground. We think of it as summer, but they're really perfect for the winter. Mm. Um, Good point. Yeah, and and there's just there's so many more. We we have a big winter guide on our website that kind of highlights all the other ways beyond sledding, beyond ice skating that you might be able to check it out. We're adding content to it all the time because there's always more events that come up. I was going to say, people are probably sending you other things too. Have you checked out this sledding hill? What about yeah. this skateboard? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like yeah. we'll add it to the list. Yes, yes. We love to find out favorites okay. from ever everywhere. This Fantastic. is a good uh, weekend or you know week to really experiment. I mean, we've got a lot of snow and it's not terribly cold, so those are some suggestions. Yeah. You have more. Rachel Nevergolf from Twin Cities Mom collective thanks for your ideas Thank today you. it's yeah. wonderful Thank you so much and for a full guide of sledding hills ice skating uh, the things she mentioned and a whole lot more you can head, head to their website it is twincitiesmom.com and we'll